Hey guys, good morning. Let's see, we're making this video today to tackle uh, three assignment 3.1.2a, which is the uh, basic outputs programming for VEX. Uh, what the outputs are, are things that uh, the robot does that move it, like the motors, the servo, the lights, you know, things like that, versus the inputs, which are things like the sensors, the light sensor, the potentiometer, all those different things. So we're looking at programming specifically the outputs, the motors, things like that, things that do stuff to the robot rather than gather information. So anyways, uh, this is the sheet you need right here. You go ahead and open that up. Maybe you wanna have the video open in the same tab and we'll jump into it. We'll go a little bit quicker than we did in the other one uh, right here with setting up the robot. First thing let's do is open our sample program, our template course we have to go into the right folder which is vex2 sample programs vex2 you can click and navigate right here and we know vex2 yeah and then we'll choose pltw and pltw template right here perfect then you can fill out the title all that stuff and we're actually going to start programming right here but of course before we do that we have to set up our robot uh, so we're going to make sure that the firmware is up to date. It's probably fine from last time. I don't think it goes out of date that quick. We're going to make sure that the uh, VEX 2.0 Cortex is selected. Natural Language PLTW and VEX 2.0 Cortex are all selected here. And then the uh, communication mode should be set to VEXnet or USB or USB only. Either one of those should be fine. So here we go. Uh, First thing we need to do is set up our motors and sensors. Now, fortunately, we don't have to uh, do all of these sensors like we did in the last program right here. Let's go ahead and set up our uh, motors only. Now, I'm on digital sensors right here. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the motors and I'm going to put in a uh, right motor right here. And then we'll choose a uh, VEX 269 and we'll do left motor in port three again vex 269 and then in port nine we shall put our uh what do we call that thing the servo motor servo motor right here we'll choose the three wire servo then in digital sensors under digital port nine we'll put our green led and we will choose to make that a vex led be sure to apply all these and click OK. Now, one thing I forgot to do, which you probably do before setting up the robot and everything, is go ahead and save your file. Make sure to do a save as, not just a save. And now it wants to save this in our sample in our template program folder. We don't want to do that. We want to go and save it in the documents folder. And I want to have you guys click new folder and create a folder for yourself call it VEX programs and put your initials on there or give it another name and let's save it in there. You can see I already created one. This was sort of a test file from earlier today. I'm actually gonna replace that file uh, right here with this one and we'll go ahead and replace it. You shouldn't have that issue right there. So just call it 3.1.2 outputs and then throw your initials on there. That will be extremely helpful if files get lost to be able to uh, track them down again. So. Uh, here we go. It looks like we're ready now to begin actually programming the robot. Uh, so let's do that. Let's look at what we need to program here. I believe our first program has the LED basically blinking on and off. You can see here, uh, turn LED off. Uh, I guess that's just to make sure it's not on at the beginning. Wait one second, turn LED on, wait, turn it off, wait, turn it on, wait, turn it off. So if you look at this, Right, you're going to wait a second, then you're gonna turn the LED on, wait a second, turn the LED off, right, wait a second. So it's gonna just blink on and off at one second intervals. So let's go ahead and add this to our code right here. Now, VEX is kind of nice, this program's kind of nice because the functions are pre programmed in there. So turn LED off is ready right there for us. And uh, we're going to tell it the green LED. And then we'll wait one second so what this does is it turns the LED. so this right here is kind of the function it tells the robot what you want to do and then in the brackets it tells you what you want to do it to so i want to turn the led off and then it tells it to turn the green led off which it knows from up here right it knows digital port 19 
the sensor is the uh, the LED. So we're telling it, okay, turn off port 19 by going green right here. Wait, and then in the wait, that's the one second. Okay, and then we'll go right here to turn LED on. And then we'll wait one second. Green. Notice that after every uh, single little instruction, there is a semicolon after every line right here. And then turn LED off. Uh, you know what? Let's not do this. Let's do. Let's make it a little bit easier on ourselves, and we'll just go ahead and copy this. Control C, and we'll just paste it again right there. Control V, and then of course we want to turn our LED off. L LED off green right there okay now once you have this go ahead and save the file save it and then compile program download a robot unfortunately i'm at home so i don't have the robots here to actually plug in i'm gonna just go ahead and assume that this would be working your test window right here would show up and everything would be good so moving on let's see so that's number six uh, and there we go, power on the Cortex. Yes, compile a program, save the program and document the program as pseudocode and simple behaviors. Okay, so number 10, what I want you to do to turn everything in to me is I wanna get a video from you that has the uh, that has the robot actually working. So I want in your video, I want the robot to be blinking. And then in your notebook, I want you to write down the code right here and the pseudocode right here. So what this pseudocode is, is it's just a plain language description of what your code does. So now this is extremely helpful because it's going to allow people who are unfamiliar with your code, like me or your even your teammates, other people who might be helping you or working on the project with you to know what the intention of the code is. So this is going to turn LED off, wait one, Sec, no, wait, 12 seconds, wait one second. Turn LED on, wait one second, and repeat. Okay, so that should be good. So it's just a short thing that shows what you want it to do. Let's go ahead and format it out a little bit more like the code right here. And, uh, oops, wait one second. And repeat. Now, this might seem a little bit trivial now because the code is so simple, but when you're working on something like the material sorter and you have a complex code that's difficult and it's, you know, it's confusing, it really helps to have the pseudo code so that when I come over to help you or when somebody else in your group is working on it, when you're not there, they know what's going on with the code. So it's important to put the pseudo code in. I want you to have that in your notebook and in your code right here. And then send me the video of your program actually working. Okay, so <clears throat> here is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go to, we're gonna control one motor. Now you have two options here. One is you can open a new template and go through all those steps and save it as this, A3-1-2 outputs part two, something like that. Or what you can do, and what I'm gonna choose to do for this one is I'm gonna do this. I'm just going to do, uh, I'm just gonna slash out those. So you can see when I put those in there, it basically turns off all that code. So the, the uh, robot is going to ignore everything in green that has the two slashes in front of it, right? So that code is no longer going to do anything. So now I'm starting fresh right here with a new code. And this kind of saves me from having to, you know, set up all the motors and sensors again. So we'll go right here and we'll check out what is our uh, our thing supposed to do here. Just tell me what the, the code is supposed to do. What number is that? Oh, okay. So we want to just 13, turn the right motor on forward at half speed for five seconds and then stop the motor. I'm not going to go ahead and write that code for you. I'm going to let you figure out how to do that. Works out perfectly because we're out of uh, time. Anyways, one thing I will show you is that if you want it to look like this on your screen, where you have this right here, you can go right here. Let's see, we're, we got eight seconds left. You go to view right here, function library graphical, and that pops up. 
All right, guys, have a good one. Good luck.